The arena has been totally electrified and we are here having fun. Today is Sunday, but this is the moment all of us are waiting for. It's one of the vow that each and everyone here is waiting for. And this is the moment. It is the much anticipated waterweight contest over six rounds between two boxers who are undefeated, who are yet to test a defeat. So here we go. Officials for this bout, the judges, David Nerte, Richard Garte, and Clement Ashon. Now introducing the boxer fighting out from the blue corner and this evening swatted in the blue trunks white shoe yellow gloves to match with the weight of 170.1 pounds from the bronze boxing gymnasium under the tutelage of a world title coach coach who has done a lot for mother ghana in boxing car loco with the official record of six fight no defeat, no draw, six wins. Four of the wins came by way of knockout. This is the boxer who is also known to be called the cornerstone, Emmanuel Corte. Now crossing over to the red corner. This is one of the finest. This is one of the talented and this is one of the skillful boxers Ghana has ever produced. From the amateur level to the professional level. Today, he came to the ring with the weight of 144.7 pounds. And this is a boxer with the official record of two fights. No defeat, no draw, two wins. One of the wins came by way of knockout and this is the boxer who is a corporal army officer in the Ghana Armed Forces presenting to you the boxer Jerry Shukari Latte and the man in charge of this fight is Nikwe Kwate Boxing people, we are on. This is live on Max TV, the match awaited fixture. Emmanuel Quarte of the Bronze Boxing Team against Jerry Latte of the Ghana Armed Forces. This bout is between two young fighters who are undefeated. This is the Ghana Professional Boxing League. We are about to go round number one. Judges are David Nettie, Richard Gatti, Clement Ashona. What a fight we have on our hands. Tonight, somebody's own has inevitably, inexorably got to go. A frenzied atmosphere. One. And the bell goes round number one. We are on. And straight away, Emmanuel Kote moves uh, to the middle of that ring and uh, says to be the aggressor, Jerry Latte, on the back foot, uh, backpedaling and... And Emmanuel Kwate lands a solid one. Jerry Latte, he, he, he backs up in the corner and uh, he lands a check. Left hook to the jaw of uh, Emmanuel Kwate. Emmanuel Kwate, he comes back. But Jerry Latte comes back with a couple of jabs. Uh, my goodness, what a fight we have on our hands. Uh, looks like both bosses are poised uh, in the... Emmanuel Kwate, he goes in there, throwing hooks, uppercut, straight right, but Jerry Latte comes back with his own combination to the head and body of Emmanuel Kwate. Kwate comes back, landing, pushing Jerry Latte backwards, but Jerry Latte comes back, jabbing to the head and body of Kwate. Kwate misses with a, a, a left hook, lands one, check, and Jerry lands a huge, a huge one, Emmanuel comes back and lands 
my goodness, Emmanuel Kwate, Emmanuel Kwate, Jerry goes for explanation, and the fans will scream, the fans will chant. What an atmosphere we have right now. The Ghana Armed Forces, they are here in their numbers, and Emmanuel Kwate, he corners Jerry Latte into a corner, Jerry Latte escapes, moves up beautifully, masterfully, doesn't on his feet lightly. Emmanuel Kwate is the aggressor. Very, very dicey. Very, very cagey gun at this point. My, oh my. What a fight we have on our hands here. Two undefeated fighters. And Emmanuel Kwate goes in. With the right hand, they go into a clincher. Kwate misses. Jerry comes back. Jerry goes with a jab. Jerry Latte is the son of uh, assistant trainer of the Black Bombers, uh, coach Latte, coach Latte Latte, who is the head trainer also of the first boy team. Uh, his younger brother is Jesse Latte, who is a multiple Commonwealth uh, medalist uh, at the amateur level. This is round number one. Uh, we have uh, less than uh, 50 seconds to end this round. Uh, a very, very cagey affair at this point. Uh, Jerry will go for a clincher. The referee warning Emmanuel Quarty. Quarty comes with a hooker and dodges a one hook from Jerry goes back. Quarty comes with a hook and uppercut. Comes back again. Wonderful skills and uh, delectable artistry. From this go process, this is boxing made in Ghana. A waterweight affair, Bronx Gym against the armed forces. Jerry Latte in red and blue. Emmanuel Quarte in blue and white. Emmanuel Lance, Jerry Lance, end of round number one. All right, so round number two coming up this is a welterweight contest over. Six rounds, Jerry Latte of the Ghana Armed Forces against the Emmanuel Quarter. Jerry goes to the body, goes with, the, with, with an uppercut. Emmanuel Quarter comes back, pushing Jerry backwards, and Jerry comes back. They are exiting fire for fire right here. They go into a clincher. It is fire for fire at this point in the center of the four square circle. Oh my goodness, these two young boxers giving us a splendid display of pugilism, the fistic signs, the art of hitting and not getting hit. These two guys serving us delectable artistry right here. Emmanuel Quarty, Jerry Latte. NY, what do you see so far? Yeah, you see two boxers who are tactically sounder and making sure they give and take their goals uh, between Jerry Latte and Emmanuel Corte. They are not backing off. Uh. Both boxers are giving it all here and the fans are loving it. They give and take, look at Emmanuel Corte. Loving some couple of punches from Emmanuel Corte. NY, this exchange is debilitating short. From both boxes, and none of them wants to give the other. Neither of them wants to give an inch to the other. Yeah, they are standing in the center of that ring, exchanging heavy leather and a hook and uppercut to the head of Jerry Latte. Jerry Latte, is he one body here? Is Jerry one body here? My goodness! Yeah, what's happening here? Yeah, in my quarter, Jerry Latte is in trouble now. Oh, he Jerry. wobbled a bit. Jerry wobbled a bit. And, and Emmanuel Corte needs to set forward with the attack mode. Jerry comes back with a counter uppercut. But Emmanuel comes back with a stiff jab. My goodness, Jerry comes back with a straight right. Emmanuel comes back with an uppercut. And they are still on there. Exiting leather. My goodness, Jerry Latte. 
employing some veteran skills there, drawing applause from the mammoth crowd here at the Book of Boston Arena. My oh my. And someone tells me this bout should have been for a title. How can this bout be a contest? Two fighters giving up their best. And the bell goes on of round number two. Yes, round this fight is scheduled for six rounds. And we are heading into the third round. Emmanuel Corte versus Jerry Latte. And why this fight has lived to his billing so far. This fight deserves all the hype and all the noise it got in the communities. James Town, Dazoman, Mataiko, Choco, Kolegono, Bukoma on social media. And for the past couple of weeks, there has been banter, there has been arguments, there has been verbal exchanges uh, from both camps uh, Jerry Latte's camp uh, and Imanokote's camp uh, the boxing uh, community has been divided uh, as to who wins this bout but tonight uh, is the night uh, that we are going to see who really wins this one but so far it has been a very, very tight affair. A ding dong battle. Jerry Latte in the red trunks. Emmanuel Quarte in the blue and white trunks. A huge right hand misses for Emmanuel Quarte. He backs up Jerry in the corner and throws a couple of pretty party punches. Jerry comes back with his own flurry. And Jerry comes back with his own flurry. Emmanuel Quarte goes back. Jerry being very elusive in the corner in there and caught it trying to nail Jerry to that corner but Jerry being very elusive NY yeah. Jerry looks a bit fatigued to me yeah Jerry looks a bit fatigued but you can see that he's moving very very much in the ring and that is also resulting to him gassing out a bit there but he's still hanging in on there making sure those punches coming from Emmanuel Corte don't really get a toll of him, but look at Jerry Latte, and you can see Nana Sam Gold, as you are saying, he's losing some gas, Jerry Latte, and he needs to be careful there because Emmanuel Corte is very smart, and he has noticed that Jerry Latte is gassing out, so what he's going to do is just chase him, cut the ring to his sizes, and make sure when he gets him into the corner, then he can unleash those punches. This is a tactical approach from both fighters. Yeah, it looks to me like uh, Jerry Latte is trying to conserve energy. It's either he is conserving energy or he is fatigued at this point. But uh, throughout the fight, it has been uh, Emmanuel Quarte who has been the aggressor of the two. Emmanuel Quarte backs up Jerry in the corner. Jerry goes for a clinch. There goes the bell. This is Waterway Contest. And we are heading into the round four. Emmanuel Corte and Jerry Latte. And why this fight deserves all the hype, all the halibalu on social media in the boxing community. Jerry Lance. A huge left jab. Jerry moving very cautiously, trying to move away from that huge right hand of Emmanuel Cote. Emmanuel Cote lands a jab right there. Jerry being very cautious, he lands a check left hook there. Emmanuel shakes his head as if to say, You got me on that one, but I'll get you. Jerry goes into a clinch. Yeah, Jerry's trying to play smart there. And making sure anytime uh, Emmanuel Corte is trying to check him and cut the ring to his side, he makes sure he gets into the clinch. Smart boxing there 
from Jerry Latte and Emmanuel Corte is still keeping the pressure on, chasing on Jerry Latte, trying to close the gap so he can unleash some punches. But Jerry Latte, being so smart, being so swift, doesn't stand there, moving left to right, making things difficult for Emmanuel Corte. And there goes uh, the clinch game from both fighters. Referee steps in, uh, separate both boxes. The fight regains, uh, and it is Emmanuel Corte. Emmanuel lands two huge hooks to the jaw of Jerry, and they go into a clinch once again. Referee comes by separating them. Referee caution Jerry Latte against clinching. Uh, they go back again. Uh, they go into close quarters. Uh, Emmanuel lands a three. Jerry comes back, Emmanuel lands. Uh, Jerry comes back, Emmanuel lands the jaw. Jerry is still in the corner. And Emmanuel is throwing all right, but the punches are not really having that maximum impact on Jerry Latte. But Jerry Latte, he doesn't want to go toe to toe with uh, Emmanuel. He is a skillful boxer and he wants to fight and move. He goes into a clinch. Yeah, the last one goes. That was two, three combination. That landed straight for Emmanuel Corte. And you said something about Jerry Latte not want to stand toe to toe with Emmanuel Corte. He knows that when he stands toe to toe with Emmanuel Corte, looking at Emmanuel Corte, how skilled wise he is, he might be at a disadvantage. So smart boxing there from both fighters. Both boxers have a different approach getting into the ring. And it is Jerry Latte. And Emmanuel Corte giving it all in this round. And look at them go at each other. They give and take game again up from Emmanuel Corte and Jerry Latte. In the inside game from both fighters. Referee have to step in. Yeah, NY, you see, whenever the fight is being fought at a distance, Jerry Latte. And it is around five of the Walter Wade contest. Between Jerry Latte, Ghana Armed Forces, and Emmanuel Corte fighting from the Bronx gym. Jerry Latte is the chap in the red, blue, and deep blue tracks to match up. And Emmanuel Corte fighting from the Bronx gym, the chap in a white and blue tracks. And both fighters sizing each other very well here. And a fifth rounder. Of the welterweight contest, Emmanuel Corte looks very, very, and that was the right hand that landed for Jerry Latte. And Emmanuel Corte took it very well. Emmanuel Corte wants to retaliate, but Jerry Latte was smart enough to go in for the clinch game. Now, Jerry Latte making sure he swears Emmanuel Corte coming in, but Jerry Latte swears. Good head movement there from Jerry Latte. Now Emmanuel Corte making sure to retaliate from that punch that was landed from uh, Jerry Latte. And he coming in strong there from Emmanuel Corte. And Jerry Latte goes in for the clinch game. Anytime he sees that Emmanuel Corte is coming in stronger, all he has to do is get in for the clinch game. And Emmanuel Corte making sure he gets something to land things getting rough in there referee have to step in and, and have a word uh, with uh, Jerry Alate separates right. them and the fight regains uh, and let's see how it goes uh. let's check there from Jerry Latte but they didn't land Emmanuel Cote wow missed there from Emmanuel Cote as he was setting forward to land but Jerry Latte also tries to clinch and Emmanuel Corte steps in again, trying to land, but swift movement there from Jerry Latte. He's moving quite very well. And there goes Emmanuel Corte clipping Jerry Latte with his leg. As Jerry Latte was moving away, Emmanuel Corte clipped his leg. And the referee rules that as no knockdown. All right, the fight regains. Last 30 seconds to go. And look at Jerry Latte. Try to unleash Emmanuel Corte. 
also trying to unleash backing up Jerry Latte to the ropes. And Jerry Latte playing is so smart there. Emmanuel Corte tries to land, but Jerry Latte keeps it so intact there. And his head movement is very, very good. Jerry Latte, Emmanuel Corte trying to make sure he can land some couple of punches. Emmanuel Corte piling up the pressure there. Jerry Latte also getting some body shots there. The inside game going on well. The give and take aspect from both boxes. And there goes the bell. Look at that stand face there from Emmanuel Corte to Jerry Latte. There. A punch getting through. It's been a tactical fight by both fighters. And I must say, I'm really, really impressed of the hype that went on for this fight. Jerry Latte, Emmanuel Corte. This is the last round, and I'm sure both boxers are going to give it their all. And Jerry Latte starts strong there, checking up that hook. And let's see, Mano Corte tries to retaliate. Jerry Latte sits out of danger zone. Up. Mano Corte, piling up the pressure. Jerry Latte does not stand, moves, and an uppercut lands for Jerry Latte. But the moment Emmanuel Corte tries to step in, Jerry Latte makes it difficult for Emmanuel Corte to land a significant punch. Let's see how the fight goes here as Emmanuel Corte trying to land flurry of punches and Jerry Latte also landing a couple of body shots and Emmanuel Corte trying to chase down Jerry Latte. Le less than two minutes left in the final round of this encounter, Jerry lands one. And he moves back. Uh, a, a, li a little swelling on the right eye of uh, Jerry Latte. Under the right eye of Jerry Latte. But this fighter uh, definitely a candidate for fight of the year. And look Emmanuel at Corte on listen uh, as Jerry is back up on the ropes. A huge ride to the face of Jerry Latte. He takes it well. Comes back with a body shot. Emmanuel Quarte still on the aggressive. They're going to a clinch. You know, Nana Samko, one thing we need to notice here is that Jerry Latte is forcing Emmanuel Quarte to fight his fight. Because anytime Emmanuel Quarte comes in with that pressure, Jerry Latte has a smart way of clinching and going for the inside game. And Emmanuel Corte needs to develop a strategy and look at him. That keen face there, looking straight into the eye of his opponent. And look, Jerry Latte with a punch landing through there on the face of Emmanuel Corte. And look, as Emmanuel Corte steps in, then Jerry Latte swiftly goes in for a clinch game. And that is making things difficult for Emmanuel Corte to keep the pressure on. And look at them. about 10 seconds to the end of this fight. Very, very competitive. Very, very hotly contested. Two young pugilists get into the four square circle and they leave it all in the ring. Jerry Latte of the armed forces. Emmanuel Quarty of the Bronx gym, the man they call Cabal, all around Jamestown and Bukum, known also as the Cornerstone. The bell goes, and it's all over, it's all over, and the two boxers, they show respect to each other. What a fight this has been, what a fight, what a night, what an atmosphere at the Bukum Boxing Arena and the two boxers uh, signaling to their fans that uh, they definitely have done enough uh, to clinch the victory tonight uh, but definitely that decision uh, at this point is left uh, in the hands uh, of the three judges uh, by ringside uh, So let's see how it goes, uh, but these are some aspects of the fight. And look at that uppercut there, blazing on Emmanuel Corte. 
but he took it well there. Right hand check there from Jerry Latte. And look at them, man. Uh, these two boxers sizing each other well up. And look at that left punch there. And he, he followed up with some two combinations. That is coming from Jerry Latte. And as Emmanuel Corte steps in to pile up the pressure, Jerry Latte gets into the clinch game. It's all about tactic way of fighting here. And the Buko Boxing Arena fans really love. The man on the screen there is Emmanuel Corte. Now we have the verdicts. Judge one scored about 56 to 59. Judge two scored about 59 to 55. Judge number three scored about 56 to 58. So by a split point decision, the winner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you the unbeatable Emmanuel Cote. But, uh, you, you've just answered the same issue people raised when they called me. Yeah. They also raised the issue about conditioning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even the last time that he fought, they also saw that Jerry always get tired. Yes too early yes. in the fight. Yes. And they saw that in round one, round two, round three. But some are saying that round four and five, he changed the stance, the yes. style Especially round to sat four. And then the sat four strategy really was worked working for him. For him. So, yeah. Mr. President, the ball is in your court. You are not a judge. You are not a referee. <laughs> you are not here to give us any verdict. <laughs> I just want you to give me your impression. Because you are the man that everybody is now applauding. Yeah, everybody yeah, is praising yes, you yes, for yes, what yes, you have, have done that. in Ghana boxing. Yes, yes, the crowd yes, that you've yes, attracted. Yes. The personality that came there. You are not giving us a verdict today. But I tell her, your, your perspective and impression with regards to this fact, Mr. President. <laughs> well, uh, it, is, it is good that... Uh, I watched this fight again. Okay. And uh, but the committee sat on it. The Saturday. Uh, the, that the very day. That very or day. Sunday. Yes. The problem is not from the judges. Mm. Uh, I think the problem comes from the uh, scorekeeper, master scorecard. Master scorecard. And then uh, the judges scored the right things. Mm. Uh, Jerry Latte won the fight on the scorecard. That is, he, that is unofficial. He's just making the point yes, for us to understand he won, something. Clear. He won it. And then so uh, it was a wrong decision. decision. We have reversed the decision. It's not unofficial. It's official. <laughs> we have uh, reversed the decision. Gelilate have won. Now, who did the mistake? The, uh, the master scorecard. Master scorecard. Yeah, Diana. So it, what due, due what, what kind of mistake are you talking about here? Uh, is it in the calculation? In the calculations. How could that happen? Well, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a human yeah, mistake. Manager. That's why we we took the, uh, the scorecards, he himself and then the, the supervisor of oh, the... Now tell us, who, who were those who sat on the committee? Yes, uh, myself, Aladi Tofik, the chairman of promotions. promotions? Uh, the deputy chairman of promotions, Michael the technical, Tete. yes, the technical director himself, Sh and then the bellman, the bellman, the bellman, Mr. Then Ado? The Anand, they were the, the first people, himself. yes, they were the first people who make the review when I went in to uh, get the cards, and there they told me that uh, Jerry, uh, Jerry Lacti won. Won, okay. Before I took everything to the office and we met the chairman of promotions and then the match commissioner of the day. So the decision is Jerry Latte is the winner of the night. So we have changed the decision. And that is what is going to the So just one, we want to uh, apologize to all the people. Have you, have you officially of informed my Bruce Boxing Gym that they've lost the fight? Yes, we've informed them. Uh, they know, they, uh, the Bronze, the, head, the deputy head of coach, were there on that night. When oh, we so they, at, they, they, so all of them okay, were there. Okay, so they have a representative. See, just, okay. Yes, just that uh, it was a night of uh, fighting here and there, so we have to move. That is why I'm here today. 
you understand, to make an official announcement. But Jerry Latte have won. So, but regardless fight. of what you are putting out, mm. our viewers will have benefit of the doubt on Friday. And on mm. Friday, so we would we'll watch the Friday game, and we'll, we'll, I'm going to have independent, you know, guests in the studio. They will watch and score the fight, and they may also give us their perspective. Mm. And I want to assure the president, if the independent-minded individuals who will be in the studio, if they score the fight anyhow, then you'll be in trouble. Because uh, you, the, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm the host of this show, and I'm saying yes. that if I bring I'll the be, independent, I'll be, I'll be in trouble on your show, mm. but not in my office. Oh, okay, very well. <laughs> so.